Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 13th. Now, keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you, okay? What do we have for around the 13th? The Ten of Wands and the Seven of Wands reverse, and you probably will not be able to see it. The sun is shining pretty bright. Ten of Wands and the Seven of Wands reverse. So somebody is carrying a heavy load. They've worked hard to become successful. They've worked really hard to hold on to something. They've held on, but it looks like we may have giving up. This is surrendering. This is uh, quitting, stepping down from a position. Uh, we reach the end of the road. I feel like we have somebody here that has reached the end of the road. This is uh, giving up the position. You know, it is. It's, it's stepping down. It's no longer fighting. No, no fight left. This is it, really okay. So I feel like we have the end of the road here. Um, And I feel like we have somebody here that, it, that has overcome a lot of hurdles, that has been wounded, that has faced a lot of challenges. This is the completion, okay? That's the Ten of Wands. It's over. You've reached the end. Time to let it all go, you know? Time to step down. Time to... This is the end of a battle. It's the end of some sort of competition. It's over. Giving up. I'm done. That's the Seven of Wands reversed. No fight left. No desire to fight left. Knight, Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups. Now, Knight of Cups is feelings. My nose is itching. Maybe I'm gonna kiss a fool. It just barely started itching. Anyhow, the Knight of Cups is is looking for love. It's an offer of love. It's it's emotional support. Um, this is somebody that is is uh, expressing feelings. There could be a proposal. Somebody may be making a proposal or expressing some feelings. To somebody, uh, you know, when I, when I, <laughs> itching pretty good. Anyhow, um, you can't fight feelings. So somebody may not be able to fight their feelings during this time, okay? Woo! Flipped over in the deck just like that, okay? The Empress reversed. Mm, I got some help. I got you, baby. Anyhow, um, Empress reverse. The Empress reverse. That's that's a that's a loss of some sort. Um, a lack of love. A lack of unconditional love. Um, but the Knight of Cups is love. So the Empress reversed. That's that's. Uh, suffering in some sort of pain somebody may be dealing we may have a woman here that doesn't know her value or, or she's in some sort of pain i don't know if it's over a loss uh, let's get some more cards oh got a couple more flippers Sun reversed in the Seven of Cups. So the Sun reversed is unhappy. We got somebody here that's not happy. Okay, they're not happy at all. They're sad. There's some, there, there's some sort of consequences, perhaps. The Seven of Cups is consequences. Choose wisely. Options, choosing, choosing another option. We may have somebody here that is choosing another option. Um, it's, there's some sort of sadness here. There's false impressions. You can bite me now. 
Anyhow, we have somebody here that um, is probably considering their options. I'm sorry about the light. It just happened. When everything, something happens, I have to go with it. Um, Three of Cups reverse. Three of Cups reverse is parting ways from friends or family. There is some sort of sadness here, okay, with the Sun reverse and the Empress reversed. Somebody may be shutting down. Uh, there is news that is coming. It is emotional news, okay? Their emotional news is coming. May have something to do with a mother. May have something to do with a child, okay? Empress is mother. Sun is child, okay? Um, definitely because there's a child on this card. So it may have something to do with a mother or a child. There's consequences for actions. There is some sort of consequences with the Seven of Cups. Choose wisely. There's choices. There's options. Parting ways from a third party. Parting ways from friends or family. This is definitely sadness, okay? We have a sad situation here. This is my second daily. I already did one, but I'm not going to... I had an interruption, so I, I had to do it over. But it's, it's the same theme. It, it is... Um, there's consequences here. There's consequences. Somebody has made a poor choice. They've made a poor choice. Now there's going to be a parting of ways. This is dashed expectations um, with, that, with that three of cups reversed. Somebody is cho choosing another option. They are. That's what they're doing. They're following their intuition. They're following their heart. Um, I got two more cards. We have the death of a situation, the end of a situation. We got the four of swords and the world card. The world card is a completion. Uh, the four of swords is exhausted, fed up. We do have the death of a, of a situation, death of a person or idea. There is emotional news that is coming. Uh, the end underneath the empress reverse, the end of, of, of a situation. The world is a completion. A major accomplishment the end of some sort of suffering we have it we have a feminine here who there's a lack of growth there's there's poor health okay the Empress reverse next to the Sun reverse there's there's poor health somebody's not nurturing a situation they're not taking care of something this is somebody I don't know if we have a mother that's not taking care of her child or she's not taking care of herself or she's She's um, self-absorbed. I mean, the Empress Reverse is a self-absorbed feminine energy. Or she's, she's just not emotionally giving. Somebody's not giving what they need to give. There's a lack of unconditional love here. There's sadness with the Sun Reverse. There's, there's some sort of false impressions. There's poor choices. Choose wisely. Be careful. Somebody's made a poor choice. They have, and I saw that in my first one. There's going to be some, so this party is over. The Three of Cups reverse. This could be a messy situation. There could be a third party situation that's coming to an end. Um, the Four of Swords is... Well, there's been some sort of suffering. There's been some sort of separation. There's been some sort of heartache. Um, grieving. Now, this is like the end of it. This is the end. This is the end. Okay, there's something that is happening. It's it's reached the point of need to... Now, we got to heal. Now, we got to heal from this. We got to heal from this ending. We got to heal from this separation. There's something has... Something is happening that uh, is very painful i believe whatever it is this is a painful ending four of swords next to the world card a painful completion of a cycle um we have somebody here to not take care of themselves or they're in poor health or something like that they've made poor choices hi priestess I priestess, this is knowing something, knowing. We got somebody here that knows, that knows something. They've been keeping it to themselves. There's a secret here. Somebody's been keeping something to themselves. Ace of Pentacles underneath the Seven of Cups. I said somebody's choosing another option. They're headed to stability. They're headed towards something secure. They're going to be getting an opportunity for abundance, but it's going to be their choice whether they want to take it or not. The Seven of Cups is right above that Ace of Pentacles, okay? Um, the Seven of Cups is definitely choices, consequences, choose wisely. There's an opportunity here. There's a golden opportunity here. Somebody is going to be choosing something that is more solid, more stable, more secure. They're going down a new path. 
They've been in a dark situation, and it's interesting what the light is doing here today. They've been in a dark situation. They're coming out of the darkness, and they're going into the light, and that's exactly what I see. And I saw it in my other one as well. Um, Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups. This is definitely emotional. I feel like it is some sort of loss. Empress reversed, Sun reversed. And the world card is the completion. We have somebody here that is is sick. They're sick or they're tired or they're exhausted and there's a need to heal and there hasn't been any healing. Okay, there hasn't been any healing at all. This is a dark situation. Um, I know there's another opportunity here. We have somebody here that knows that there's another opportunity. They may have been ignoring it. Um, there's a secret that is about to be revealed. Um, Somebody's about to step into a new existence, a new life, new territory. Um, they've reached the end, okay? They've reached the end of this cycle. And it's been rough. It has been rough. No. You can lay back down or you can get down. What you gonna do? Okay, I'll choose. Now that we got two cards, nine of swords and the death reversed. So we got somebody here I feel that has reached in the end of a desperate situation. There's a lot of anxiety. There's a lot of worry. I do feel like there is illness here. Um, there's been resisting change. The, there's been delays. They, but holding on is getting old. It is getting old. I feel like this is it. I do feel like this is the end of holding on. Can't do it anymore. This is extremely stressful. I feel like this is a stressful de rele release that has been delayed. I think the delay is over. I do feel like the delay is over. Somebody's going to be following their heart. They're going to be following their intuition with that Knight of Cups. Their, their, their heart and their intuition is guiding them, is guiding them in a new direction. They've been in a situation where they've been feeling empty and lost inside. The, the, the Knight of Cups... Underneath it is the Four of Swords. That's empty and lost inside. So this is the end. It's the end of stagnation. It is the end of not having love. Okay, we have somebody here that is definitely being guided by their intuition after they have been in the dark, okay? They have totally, totally allowed themselves to be in the dark, okay? But this is, this is coming out of the dark. It's following the intuition, listen to the in, listening to the intuition, making another choice, headed towards stability, getting an offer, getting an opportunity. Somebody is, it's like God is giving somebody an opportunity, Okay, there's a lot of regrets. There's there's a lot of uh, worry, worry about worrying about uh, separating, worried about letting go. Somebody has been worried about letting go, but I feel like there is going to be a separation. I mean, that is parting ways from friends or family. Okay, it's a stressful decision. Somebody, and it is a choice. Somebody is making a very stressful decision to grab on to something that is more solid and stable and real. I feel like they've been they they've known that they needed to do so for some time, but they've been in a place of maybe they there they, there's a lack of self love here. You know, there's a, there's a lack of self worth, or you know, they've been. Um, in some sort of false situation. This is false impressions. They've been uh, not listening, maybe not listening to their intuition, some sort of dark place. But this is, this is listening, okay? We have somebody here that is going to be listening to their intuition and going down a new path choosing another option. It's like the option gets given. It's like right there. It's right in front of you. And all of a sudden, it's like all of a sudden, you know, out of the darkness, into the light, all of a sudden, okay, all of a sudden the opportunity is given. Now you get to choose. You have, but, but, but the choosing this golden opportunity, choosing this opportunity for stability and security and abundance is stressful, okay? This is, this is worrisome, okay? This is definitely a stressful decision but this will require parting ways this is parting ways okay 
So I do believe that we have, uh, there's been some sort of delay. I think the delay is over. I feel like it's a very sudden change. I do, and I don't even need, need any sudden cards. This is a new beginning. So we do have a new beginning here. Um, I do see regrets. I see regrets. I see consequences. So I don't know if somebody is dealing with some consequences right now. They're dealing with some consequences for making poor choices. Okay. Uh, they're going to probably be expressing something. Maybe they have regrets. Somebody may have some regrets. Maybe they're going to be expressing their feelings. They're, they didn't treat somebody fairly. Uh, there's uh, The first card out in the last reading was justice reversed. There's unfair treatment. Um, I know there is stability. I know there's an opportunity for stability. I just have to choose another option, which requires parting ways from a desperate situation that has been held on to for so long. Letting, holding on is getting old. You have to face your fears. You have to face your fears. We have somebody here that is, is like, oh my God, I know that I need to. I know that I need to. I know there's a third party. I, I know there's another option. I know it. I know it. I know it. You know, there's this is, I know. I know. But this is like darkness. It's like coming. And I feel like we have somebody here that is coming out of the darkness. Okay. Um, this is the end. It is the end. This is a major completion. There's been some sort of illness. There's been some sort of painful separation. There could be a painful separation. This is definitely emotional. This could be an emotional goodbye. There's been a delay, but this the death card can be extremes in reverse. There could this could be an emotional goodbye. Yes taking action to bring success, manifestation. Somebody has manifested something. They've manifested a new beginning. They're taking action. They're willing to do whatever it takes to be successful, even if it means making another choice. Somebody's making another choice. They're, they're taking action into their own hands. This is somebody that is highly, that is gifted, that is intuitive, that has a divine connection. We have somebody here that has a divine connection that is about to take action. They've been in a dark place, maybe with a feminine that doesn't love them or doesn't take care of them or is very self-absorbed. I mean, the Empress Reverse is, is, is somebody that doesn't take care of herself. She doesn't take care of her children. She's, she's self-absorbed. She's mean-spirited. She's forceful. You know, she's uh, not very loving. And there's not a lot of love here. So I feel like we have somebody here that is in a situation where there's not a, not a, not a lot of love and they're looking for love. They're looking for a relationship. They're, they're, they are. They're looking for a relationship. So I feel like this is the end, okay? This is like somebody who has probably been thinking. They've been feeling empty and lost inside. They've been thinking about what their heart wants. Their intuition is really speaking to them. They've manifested a new opportunity. They're going to be taking that opportunity, and they know that this is what they asked for. So somebody is, and this may be an epiphany. This could be a wake-up call. It's a realization. This is somebody that is believing in themselves, and they know that they have to take action to have success. And this is is success. The world card is successfully completing a cycle where there's been pain, right? There's been pain. There's been suffering. There's been no growth. You know, there's been, there's been no tender loving care. So somebody is definitely completing a cycle in their life and they're, they're, they're stepping into new territory. This is taking action. Okay. Somebody is definitely going to be taking action. Um, it's like they called in a new opportunity and now they're choosing it. This is choosing the new opportunity. Somebody is going to be doing something, okay? They're willing to shed the old to bring in the new. Their gut is telling them to do so, so they're going to be doing it. Somebody is going in a new direction. They are parting ways. It is a painful, stressful decision. I think there's been a lot of anxiety. I feel like there's been some sort of delay, but this is now taking action. So this is definitely action time. Um... Good luck.